Greetings again. This is Dr. Bill White with the American Orthodontic Society. And I have a case here that I really feel like every dentist ought to know how to do this, ought to, ought to understand this. This part of orthodontics can be made quite simple and it should be taught in my way of thinking to every dentist so that you can do these things. Now this is a very interesting case. There's a lot to learn here. So if you're interested in learning that we're interested in teaching you, now we're going to take this closing space in an arch and then we've got an impacted wisdom tooth that we're going to move this the second molar forward where the six year molar was and then this impacted wisdom tooth normally when you move out away from one it'll upright this way but this one lay down almost in a horizontal uh, position and you can still upright it after you finish so don't give up on it that's what i want you to see here so let's uh, get going here with it and let me see if I have to touch this. This young lady transferred into my uh, practice and she came in with uh, this uh, material on everything. And this gap in, this, in these teeth here, she had been told we'll get it, put some bridges in here and somebody sent her to her and there were wisdom teeth back in in the uh, back and this was the bicuspid uh, that was missing in here so she was planning to have a couple of bridges uh, or back then at that time that we weren't doing too many implants but anyway let's uh, go forward from there uh, and so this space and so I sat down with this young lady and I want you to look. This gap has been here for some time and you, I keep telling you, don't wait to move a tooth in there. There's a, you have a, not a, a real example of a dive edge ridge, but this bone structure around the side of the tooth will just close in if you leave it there for a long period of time. And this guy straightening the teeth on her just left it like that and he was thinking of, apparently of bridging this uh, tooth, crowning both these teeth and filling that in. And uh, Or if he had been thinking of putting an implant in there, he would have had to done something with this uh, bone structure. So he was thinking of bridging this. Now to put a bridge on both sides of the mouth, the cost of it is more than straightening your teeth uh, in there. So I talked to the young lady and I said, you can get a bridge put in there, but you've got this uh, knife edge ridge right in here, but we can move these teeth forward into that space and you've got wisdom teeth underneath there. At the, behind this uh, uh, second molar back here, there are two wisdom teeth. And one of them, when, uh, both of them were kind of back under like this, and when I did one, it kind of straightened up this way, but the other one just absolutely lay down flat. And this is, uh, a lot of people think, it's impossible to do this, but it's not. All you have to do is just take an electrosurgeon, uncover the side of that tooth a little bit, and bond something on there, a tube, and you put some rectangular wire with a spring in it, and you can upright those wisdom teeth just, just very quite easily, easily. All right, let's go to the next deal here. And here is the uh, a young lady's uh, cephalometric uh, pic picture with right here in the wisdom tooth. Is, both wisdom teeth are down in this area right here. And what this guy was 
planning to extract this and bridge this. And I'll tell you, the bridges alone would cost more than doing the whole orthodontic situation and extracting these impacted wisdom teeth would have been even more. So we're going to move these teeth forward and then one of them fooled me. It normally would straighten up this way, but instead of doing that, it lay down in there. And then you can still upright those teeth, I guess, if you had one with the roots going higher than the crown, you could still straighten it out. Just uncover the crown a little bit. And here's this young lady, she's 16 years old, and she can make that decision. And she said, I would, I would rather have my regular teeth in there, and it would take me a little longer to do the case, but that's what we decided to do. And when we moved these teeth up in here, we had to kind of do it with, and uh, hold these anterior teeth where they were. I didn't use any tads then. I could have put tads on them uh, to do that. All right, let's go. Now here is a Panorex, and this is the wisdom tooth right here. And here's the one over on this side. Now I think it was this one that lay down on me, and this one just kind of straightened out. Now we're going to move these teeth forward in here. And the way we move them forward today is that, uh, you know, we come in here in this space and we'll put this little deal like that and then have it run down. You tighten it, run it back here, then you tighten up from here and it'll bring the roots and the crown forward at the same time. And then you leave this alone. Now this, we thought this one would come up like that, but it didn't. And this other one d did. So let's uh, check here, see. All right, here, here is, uh, she's age 17 now, and we're moving this forward. And don't forget that we're moving these teeth into knife edge bone, which in the x-ray you can't see it. You're looking straight through here, but this bone has moved in like that. And you've got a tooth here, and you here, and you're bringing this f forward. This has to bring its bone with it, and you will see people say you cannot move a tooth into a knife edge uh, bone structure, and you certainly can. Now I'm going to run back uh, just for a minute here and see. Uh, now, there's where this ended. We move this up in this direction, close that space, and this tooth just absolutely lay down. Now this one wasn't too bad. We put a little spring on it and raise it up, and it'll kick the tooth in position. Now your upper wisdom tooth will come in, and you can, uh, this one will fit in pretty good right here with the back out, and it'll touch that. And you, when you bring this one up, the crown will be something like this, and this tooth will come down and touch that. Now, this is not impossible for anybody to do. You, if you just uncover this part of that tooth, and you can bond this tube at this angle, and then you can bridge it up here and straighten it out, the, the bonded thing doesn't have to be exactly in the correct position on the tooth as it moves up. You can bond it on the side. Now, let's 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 go back here and let me let me show you this bone structure that we've moved in. And you're gonna see a lot of people that will tell you you can't move this. You can't move these teeth into that type of bone structure. You see the this shrunk up. And this is why I say if, if you want to do this and you're going to pull a bad tooth right here, be prepared to move these teeth 
the day you extract the teeth, start going in there while you've still got this buckle bone out here, this tooth will move into that so much quicker. But if you continue to pull this tooth forward, it'll bring this bone along with it. And you can look at it after we you know, get through. And this is something every dentist ought to know that you can do this and people would save their own teeth. They wouldn't use the, uh, I mean, this lady's gonna, was gonna pay for two bridges and a surgical extraction of the wisdom teeth. And the, the expense of, the, of doing that is more than straightening the whole set of teeth. So we just uh, worked on her a little longer and did that. Now, let me see, get back over here. Now, we're moving uh, on the x-ray. You're shooting straight through here, so knife edge ridge doesn't show up. You just got the same bone structure in there. Now, as we move these teeth forward in here, this tooth is kind of upright with it. But this one, it just lay down more. Let's go now and show it. Now we've got the teeth up in that position. We need to bring these roots together better. And these teeth will need to be uprighted. All right, here we, uh, the teeth are lo looking like that. Let me erase that and, and you can see where. I just drew on the x-ray showing this young lady uh, what we wanted to do and so she elected to do that and we went ahead and did it now this one we cocked it up real quick and you've got your wisdom tooth and the, when you put this in a bring the bicuspid close the bicuspid space you've got some extra space here so this tooth extends back and the wisdom tooth will erupt against that wisdom tooth. And this is the best chewing surface in the mouth. And this was gonna be discarded. They were gonna extract these teeth, but we, we will save them. Now this one, I had to come back and really work on it a little while longer to get it to, to level out like that. Now, here it is. This young lady is 20 years old at this point, 20 and five months. And this is 1991. And this tooth is working perfect over here. This wisdom tooth will hit that and she can use it all her life. You can leave it alone like that. And we've got to bring this one back a little bit more. We did that and got it back and I'm not sure that I've got any x-ray since then. We finished the case up at that point. Well, I do have another one here. Uh, she's wearing an upper retainer and we pull this wire through here. We'll have to come back, let this tooth erupt down here and build another retainer with a wire that's not interfering with the wisdom tooth coming in. So here's this lady. We saved the bottom wisdom teeth. We'll save the upper wisdom tooth. We closed the space. We're using her six-year molar to take the space of the second bicuspid that was removed and the whole thing. And it took some time to do, but it's worth it. I mean, this lady has spent the rest of her life with those teeth like that. She's got all of her own teeth in there instead of carrying two bridges and then having her wisdom teeth removed. And I would like to teach this to every dentist that's going to be doing dentistry. Give people an opportunity to do something like this for themselves rather than say, well, you're going to have to have bridges and we're going to have to extract these uh, impacted teeth and all this stuff. They don't have to do that and they can have that and they don't mind working 
I mean, she came in, she was 16, uh, over 16 years old, and we uh, worked on her for several years there, but we got this in place. And that's, uh, you can see it here on the, uh, we'll just show the, coming in. That's, uh, this is 1987. Now there's this, this knife edge ridge, and we're gonna bring these up into this place. You have to pull them in, or if you put a, a tad or something in the cortical bone here and bond it to these teeth, they won't go back and all this will come forward. We did that with some class two elastics uh, back then. And here we got our retainer in place and a bite plate on it to keep the bite from deepening. And now, looking down on the lower arch, there's the six-year molar, the, the second molar, and the wisdom too. And the first, the second bicuspid that fit in here is gone. This took up most of that space, but the extra space left over here, we use it to get the wisdom tooth comes down against it from up above. And this is good dentistry. And I hope Dentists look at this and they be taught that this alternative should be offered to people rather than telling them they've got to have implants or bridges and then, then have their wisdom teeth extracted. So I hope this uh, gets to the dental schools. Now we'll, here's the upper uh, retainer in place and we have a little bite plate in here that stop the, the deepening back here. And here is the young lady uh, after, uh, I guess that's before we started. I hope everybody understands what we're doing here. I want people to learn the possibilities that can be done orthodontically. You do not have to be a certain age to get your teeth straightened. I mean, you. You, you could, I could straighten my teeth right now and I'm 94 years old and if I could do that and my teeth still move and anybody's teeth would move it's just a matter of getting in there and doing it and saving it so thank you for watching and I hope uh, this uh, information gets to enough people wherever you are and you're learning to do a dentistry. Orthodontics is a part of dentistry that ought to be mixed together and dentists should be taught what can be done if you don't want to stay there long enough to learn how to do it, something. You can learn from these videos or taking uh, courses with the American Orthodontic Society. They'll teach you. Uh, we're going to try to get international, uh, get these courses out internationally so our people can uh, do this. Thank you for watching and I'm going to sign off and uh, hope you'll join our group and subscribe to these uh, videos so we can continue to, to do this. Bye-bye. Oh, yeah.